My name is Vicki Fishnick and I will be demonstrating the application of Enluxtra on a diabetic foot ulcer. Now we will be demonstrating the application of Enluxtra on a diabetic foot ulcer in the web space in this area. The first thing you'll want to do is measure your wound size. This is a one centimeter by one centimeter wound in that wound space. The next thing you'll want to do is cleanse the wound and apply, uh, cleanse the wound with a wound cleanser and gauze. You can spray the wound directly or you can spray the dressing. So however you prefer. Yeah, you can just apply yeah. Okay. Because we, yeah, that's good, that's good. And then clean some of the excess, clean the wound bed, and now the the wound bed is ready for a dressing application. For this particular application, we'll utilize a 2x2 two two and Luxtra dressing for this web space. First, open the dressing, reach in for the edges. This is the fiber side. This is the backing side that clearly states this side out. This dressing is a little large, so we'll cut the dressing to the wound size. We will first cut a portion of it. Then we'll also make allowances for the sides of both sides of the feet by etching the space for these areas. So you will take hold the edge still, remove a portion of that side. Remove a portion of that size as well. And then you will check to see if the spacing is adequate. Okay. So now you've applied it, you've made contact with the wound. And to further ensure that you can will make contact with that space. Is this you can add a small piece of gauze into that area, which will ensure full contact with that, and then you'll want to secure the whole area with just some cotton tape. And there's different ways you can secure the area, either by securing down on the lower edge and or also along the center of the gauze, ensuring further contact with the wound bed and also on the back side. And you want to ensure also on the back side that it's also well and secure uh, and ensuring that the gauze will not move. And there you go. Now I'm going to secure, this is further securing is necessary, the patient is an ambulatory patient. Uh, also an additional uh, coban can be utilized to cover the whole area. So as with any Co-band. And that this patient would hold his leg still for me. <laughs> and also Curlex is another option for securing a dressing on a patient uh, that may not uh, prefer the co-band due to its uh, sticky nature, but, e but either way it will still uh, be tightly secured either with Coban or Curlex, uh, patient preference. Uh, and some patients may just prefer to have the tape. If they're not ambulatory and tape is sufficient, and in most cases it is. This is how you would uh, 
secure the inbox straw. And it's a really easy process. Uh, in three steps: you cleanse, you uh, cleanse the wound bed, you know, apply the dressing, and secure the dressing. And uh, patients have just are generally real pleased uh, with the with the dressing.